This is Psy Turtles Ninja NX! Hey guys, I just want to talk about a little bit about the psychiatry and, well, basically what I did doing when I pretended to join the Dragon Ball protest for that one night that I re uploading the here basically what I did. The fun corner. Now let's watch this video together. Now you notice that little I'm bit of silence. Five. Yeah. I have just joined yeah. the dragon. Ball now you notice how I got my eyes closed. I'm amazed this don't didn't look okay. I'm amazed this didn't look like I was being a little bit guilty. Yeah. I don't know how you guys fell for this. But I must have been that guy. This sequel, only a remake. The Dragon Ball protest is right. We should not deserve this movie, movie or to be treated this way. Um, when I was rec when I was recording this, no, I was actually thinking of trying to make my own version of that one. It's our fault. It is yeah. also our fault for not for not now, starting up sooner and quickly to stop. What about a minute in no of this video? Is I meant to do my point. Only one to figure out that Dragon Ball Nian. Okay. I did to the we began to get to the point where I am wondering how you, you Dragon Ball protests fell for this. I do not understand saying how you guys managed to fall for this. No, it actually got at the point where I was kind of addressing both sides of this argument at the exact same time. So, in some parts of the video, like Dragon Ball Kai, yeah. I mean, we all know the story. Kai. Now, in some parts, we all know the story. Yeah. We need to be new and try to And we got that. And also, we did. But, of accepting it, like we should have, most of the fanbase took it as a piece of crap. You guys did. Well, no. Well, the question, this video was not attended for me to join the Dragon Ball protest. It was attended for you guys to listen. I came up with this plan of getting into you guys, you guys, you quit literally. Stab you while you're down. No months ago. I actually came up with this at the same time when I made that other channel. This is not a new plan of mine. And I admit, I am a ninja type person. Cause I am ninja, he is ninja, she is ninja, and we are ninja, and I believe that you are ninja too. Well, if I don't get this about us, Dragon Ball fans, how can you so selfish, so arrogant, so stupid? You know what I'm using the big words around. Our own franchise needs of Dragon Ball Evolution. We needed it. Okay. Just let me rephrase what just happened here. Now, I just got a comment from... The original Quill fan said Dragon Ball is doing fine, it's doing great though, but he mentioned it's doing great in sales. But as far as stories is concerned, Dragon Ball ain't doing so well. And uh, for me calling the Dragon Ball fans stupid, arrogant, selfish, that point is 100% true. No, that was based on the whole GT thing. Basically, the way how we Dragon Ball fans are doing now is, 
if one person meant something positive about what all the other fans considered to be bad, the, the other fans would start bullying that one person. And that is basically what is happening in Dragon Ball Evolution. You guys are calling this movie a piece of crap. No. But yet, it's a part of the Dragon Ball franchise. And there are people like me, like you, who've been waiting to see a Dragon Ball movie for a long time. Maybe we just got spoiled with all the big blockbuster movies over the years. But the fact is, we got it. We need a fast start. Dragon Ball Evolution may have been too big of a chain for you guys to handle. But the underlying fact is, it was a chain and we did need it. I'm sorry most of you guys were too blind to see it. <laughs> now, the scene you just saw, the one that was quite a little late. Me addressing the Dragon Ball protest head on and get my words out. Dragon Ball Evolution was too big of a change for most of the fan base to handle. And this right here is what I think most of the hatred, most of the anger come from. Was it too big of a change? The Dragon Ball fans Namely, our supporters is though who wanted to see new stories being told, want to see new interpretations. We had an easier time to accept Dragon Ball Evolution because we wanted change. And then, and the bottom line, that is what the entire fight and argument comes from. And I've been analyzing this. I've been watching videos from both sides, both stories, change and Goku 16 2008. Now, I kind of realized this, though, but even by watching some of the storm, and by watching that Jinx guy videos on Storm, he did kind of notice that Storm was what kind of like, but I think he misread it. I watched some of Storm Surf's videos. Storm Surf was admitting that he was tired of seeing the same old stories being constantly told. Video games are full of them. Dragon Ball Kai is virtually the same story. And so on and so on. Goku 16-8 mentioned it more than once in videos. So now, by taking all this information again, like I said before, all the fighting stem from, from chains versus no chains. Dragon Ball has to evolve. It has to change. It reaches a point where, uh, money-wise, it's doing great. It got lots of marketing, it got lots of sales, Storyline, Dragon Ball is practically dead. There is no new stories, new, no new continuity now. Okay, Scott said that all so about the primarily fan base, but they're not a proper retelling of the story. Most of these retellings or fan base stuff, they usually stem from Dragon Ball Z, but they never stem from the beginning. Except for Dragon Ball The Magic Begins, but that movie was by far one of the worst movies I ever saw. And I'm a Dragon Ball fan. Sorry guys, there will be a part two, so see you in part two.